So hello and welcome back and look at how big Penelope is. She's going to be a big dire horn before we know it. Like she's bigger than Gertrude now. I'm so impressed. So we're going to do our little Penelope quest and then I found something fun for us to do. I found a quest way out in the desert or a quest chain out in the desert that was a lot of fun. Well, at least it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to go and help uh, a crazy troll out in the desert after we see what Penelope needs. So what's up, Penelope? The child of Torkali trumpets softly in greeting. Aww. The child of Torkali, Penelope, stares longingly out of her pen. Her gaze seems to be following some of the other nearby dire horns. Perhaps she could use a distraction. Oh, we get to play with her again. I'm so excited. All right. Are you ready, Penelope? Are you ready? Are you ready? Fetch. Go get it. Oh, look at her. She's so happy. She's squeaking it. She drops the toy at its feet and just grunts. Oh. No, you're supposed to bring it back, Penelope. You silly thing. All right, I'm going to throw it all the way over by Crushy. Ready? Go fetch. Come on, you're a big, you are a big dire horn. You got this. Oh, look at that. She's got it on its back, on her back. That's so cute. All right, Penelope. You got to give it back. There we go. All right, we're going to throw it way over here this time. Ready? Ready? Fetch Penelope. She's like, I'm on the case. Rawr. Oh, she's learning. She brought it most of the way back. All right, come, come back, Penelope. You, If you don't bring the toy back, I can't throw it again. All right, we're going to throw it over by Crushy again. Ready, fetch. Who's a good dire horn? Penelope's a good dire horn. Oh, here she comes. What a good girl. All right, I wonder how many times we have to come back, Penelope. Give. Good girl. All right, you know what? I'm going to go all the way over here, and you catch it this time. Ready? See if you can get it as it goes by you. Oh, she's like, I'm on it. Rawr. Aw, she's happy. I think she ate it. Because we sure didn't get it back that time. All right. Well, she plucks a leaf off the ground and offers it to us. See, she's learning. Oh, and then she lovingly headbutted our leg. Ouch, that hurts. Your horns are very sharp. The child of Torkali stomps in place and investigates your hands for any traces of food and makes a sound of distress. All right, well, this one I am getting used to. So, Penelope, would you like, I, I actually brought you some extra chunky dino food. Is that good? Oh, she says, no, I want more. She eats so quickly that bits are scattered everywhere. All right. Here's another one. She devours the food and then snuffles for yet more. Penelope, you are getting to be very, very hungry at 130 some gold per serving. This is getting expensive. It's a good thing we love you. The child of Torkali blinks trustingly up at you and makes warm rumbling sounds. Aww. Well, you know what? I'm not sure how many days we've been doing this with her, but I feel like it's going to be pretty soon looking at that bar above her head that we have some more stuff to do with her. But until then, we are going to go flying far, far away. We are going all the way to the desert land of Voldoon, and we're going to go help a slightly crazy blood troll. All right, we are in Voldoon, 
this is actually, I think, the only area that I really did a lot of questing in on the Horde side while playing BFA, which is why I remember this place that we're going to. But it's probably been... well, since the start of BFA, however long ago that was, since I really did the quests in this area. So I've forgotten most of them, but I do remember that this was a lot of fun. And I remember I was just kind of doing random quests and I just found this valley with a cool little cave in it. And I was like, what the heck? There's a quest in there. And so that's why I actually remember this area. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go and we're gonna check out the cave at the back of this valley here in Whistlebloom Oasis. No, Grenja, I won't buy you a golden drum. Stop asking, or I'll be taking away that fancy new hat. Everyone, be quiet. We have a guest. All right. So obviously this is a crowded place. It's the Gold Tusk Inn. Um, I don't see anybody. What? What's up there, my friend? All right. Crushy, I love you to pieces, but you need to go stand in the corner until we are ready. You're not house trained yet. Uh, all right, Ronka. Greetings, traveler, and welcome to the Gold Dusk Inn. Unless you're here to kill us, in which case get out. <laughs> Otherwise, sit down and enjoy the mess. I, I mean, don't mind the mess. Eat the mess. No, no, don't eat the mess. Ignore the mess. Ranka turns to the skull with the eye patch and shouts furiously in Zandalari. <laughs> Don't mind him. All exiles are welcome to rest at the Gold Tusk Inn, the only luxury lodge in these harsh dunes. Come, let me introduce you to the staff. Okay, my friend, there's nobody here. Settle down, everyone. Gertrude going to come around to each of you and say hello. Okay. Anybody see anybody here? I mean, I see Crushy and, oh, there's a skull. H hello, Mr. Skull. Grinja looks surprisingly happy for a skull. We could tell him, well met. I bet you'd make a great doorstop. We could attempt to beat him in a staring contest or politely introduce ourselves. You know what? Back when she was human, I think Gertrude would have gone with the polite introduction, but she's been an undead long enough. I think she'd just tell him he would make a good doorstop. Good eye, Gertrude. Back in Zoldazar, Grenja got us out of sticky situations. She held open and knocked down a lot of doors for us. People too, actually. Ah, all right. Also, there is a quest here. It is Wanted. Cobra excur Excursion Participants. Attention guests of the Gold Tusk Inn. We're proud to announce a surprise new addition to our lineup of excursion activities. The new giant, deadly, unstoppable killer cobra experience is now available. There's no need to sign up. You've all been automatically volunteered for this activity. To participate, simply travel into the dunes north of the inn and try not to be killed by the massive cobra that's now patrolling the area. We are not currently offering guided tours for this activity, but have fun. Uh, oh, okay. And in the meantime, there is a skull eating a banana. You, you must be Manzel. Manzel's eye patch twitches with magic. Your eye patch is very fearsome. Can I have your stuff? Whisper that you think his eye patch is stupid, or politely introduce yourself. Can, can, can I have your stuff? Ha! I like your style, Gertrude, but I beat you to it. All he's got left is that ugly eye patch and a dazzling smile. All right, well, 
Looks like we got one last skull to meet. Is that dynamite on its head? It is. That's, that's, it's wearing dynamite. Well, hi there. You must be Volney, who looks like she's stuck in a perpetual state of screaming. Um, hello? I like your hat. Or mumble something about how crazy this all is. You know what? This is th this is rather crazy. Speak up! I can't eavesdrop if you two jirobas be mumbling over there. Uh, Ronka, I hate to tell you this, but your friends they're they're they're, they're missing bodies. No one all right. This bed. Meet in the Gold Tusk Gang. Don't mind half of what those trolls say. They don't really mean it. Are, are you sure about that? Ranka's lost friend. When you head up to Dead Man's Pass, be sure to say hello to Zolson. He's my best friend. Even if he doesn't want to be near me most of the time. <laughs> Seriously, though, he's been up on the cliff for days. If you find him, convince him to come back down to the inn. We need him to restock the breakfast buffet. Oh, and on a completely unrelated question that has nothing to do with you not being able to find Zolson and my needing to replace him, how wide is your head? Okay, so that sounded like a threat, and I don't want to be here forever, so that's okay. Oh, dirty work for dirty drinks. Guests gotta earn their keep at the Gold Tusk Inn. What say you help me clear out some scorpids at one of our off-site excursion locations, the delightful Dead Man's Pass? Normally, you would need to purchase our Warlord package to be allowed access, but I'll make an exception this time. I'll even throw in our Scorpid King pass package. Unlimited Scorpid blood drinks all day, every day. There's one catch, though. We're out of Scorpid blood. Bring back some, and I will whip up a batch of drinks for us. That sounds absolutely horrifying, but it sounds like uh, sounds like that's what we're going to be doing. Let's go find some caustic scorpid blood, kill a giant snake, and um, see if we can maybe maybe find Zolson's cracked skull. All right, sounds like it'll be a party. You know, I say we tackle the hardest thing first, and that would be that big old snake right there. So, come on, Crushy. We got this, right? Hopefully. With any luck. Also, Crushy, please don't draw in that other whatever that thing is. Oh, you did. Good job. You just be, be cold there. Thank you until I, I'm done with this giant snake. Ooh, crushy, crushy, crushy. Crushy, don't die on me, bud. There we go. We got this, bud. Hopefully that other thing won't come back before it's time to uh, actually kill this thing. Oh my goodness, crushy, we got this. Come on, heal up. There we go, good boy. I'll just do a little bit of bestial wrath here. I'll keep a heal up on you because you're my good, my good crushy. And I'll keep an eye on that Coralusk Dune Crawler over there. All these moving parts. No wonder they said this was a three-man job. That's okay though. I'm sure that we've got this. Crushy, don't die on me. Up. Oh. No, no, bad Coralisk. You be cold again, thank you. All these moving parts. Hopefully, he's almost dead. And then we have to take care of that Coralisk dune crawler over there. Otherwise, things could get very bad. There we go. Whew. Well, that was a fight, but you know what? Our crushy is awesome. And, uh, yeah, we took out a big old snake. Now all we have to do is find some scorpids to take out. 
and see if we can't find this Zulsen dude. Alright, let's kill this Coralus. There we go. Alright. Hardest part's out of the way. Now, the rest should be easy. At least that's what they say, right? Right. Just gotta take out a few Scorpids here. Oh, and they're everywhere. I think we'll just take out the Hatchlings and see what we can do with the rest. Oh no! Crushy, they're gonna get me. I don't want to get bit by a Scorpid. Ouch. I wish I could eat them. That would be much nicer. Alright, well that was fun. So just, um, 16 more. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you when I kill them all. Alright, we have gotten ourselves a bunch of caustic, uh, scorpid blood. And, ooh, ooh, there is another scorpid in there. That is a big scorpid. Alright, well, you know what, Crushy? Back to business here. We got this. You know, I get the feeling that we're just picking up yet another skull, which is a little bit, a little bit odd, but okay, whatever. Oh, but we did get a piece of gear. What did we get? Uh, nothing we can wear, unfortunately. Oh, oh, my friend, you look very, very dead. But I don't think you're the one I'm here to get. I'm here to get Zolson, this lovely decorated skull. Alright, cool. Oh! Help! You still in there, Gertrude? Don't go back to the inn! The Sand Fury found us! Oh no. Not the Sand Fury. Here I thought you were a Sand Fury troll, but that's okay. Sand Fury thugs attacked the inn. I barely escaped with this banana. It seemed important at the time. Yeah, that, that's definitely a banana that you're holding there. I guess I don't have to ask the, the question. But I did find your friend. Did you find Zolson? Yeah, yeah, here you go. Thank the spirits you find Zolson. Sand Fury trolls kidnapped the rest of the gang. You mean they took your, your skulls? Okay. My scorpid blood drinks are famous in the Gold Tusk gang. Well, good. I guess make me some? I'll hold on to this blood. Till we can get, get back to the inn and make the drinks. Don't worry. I won't let you miss out on them. I know you're excited to find my... To try my famous scorpid blood drinks. I mean... I guess that's one way to put it. The Great Cranium Caper. Sand Fury thugs attacked the inn after you left, and they kidnapped the whole Gold Tusk gang. We gotta get them back. Manzel was usually the brains behind our thefts back in Zoldazar, but I'll try and come up with a plan to get them out of this mess. He thinks for a while. I got it! You rescue them. Great plan there. Great plan, Ranka. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, Gaz... Gazdakun the Slaver. Great name, dude. That's it. The Sand Fury are officially banned from the Gold Tusk Inn. You can't just ransack a place, kidnap its staff, and mock its owner with an assortment of fruits and vegetables and expect to get away with it. We gotta teach those thugs what happens when you mess with the Gold Tusk Gang. Gazdakun the Slaver was bossing around the rest of the Sand Fury during the attack. Take him out and leave some Sand Fury behind to spread the word. All right, kill a leader. Gotcha. Oh, and the best honey in Voldoon. If you can handle rescuing the others by yourself, Zulson and I here will head back to the inn and start cleaning up the place. Don't worry, I'll still be cooking up a special batch of my famous Scorpid Blood drinks for you. In fact, you're going to be running right past my friend, Riccati. He sells the best honey in all Voldoon. Bring a few bottles of it for me, and we'll add some sweetness to the drink. I, I mean, okay. Honey and blood. That sounds 
it sounds like something. Off we go. Let's go see if we can get some honey and get get some of his buddies back. Because of course, oh, and first we're gonna pull this stupid thing. All right. Well, that's that's no fun. I didn't mean to actually pull any extra fun. Oh, hey. How you doing, Ronka? He says, no time to talk, rookie. The Sand Fury be on a rampage. Hide your honey. Okay, buddy, will do. Thanks. Oh, then he rolled his eyes and says that the troll is crazier than a bag of rye shoe. I don't know what Ron Rana shoe is, but uh Hi! Oh you're a little Voldoon Fox dude. Ronka sent you? He still owes me for the last batch of honey I sold them. I don't know what Ronka's doing down in that oasis with all the honey that he's bought for me, and frankly, I suspect I don't even wanna know. But whatever his reasons, Ronka's my best customer. So even though my supply's getting low, because Ronka sent you, I'll give you a deal. The wasps here keep all their honey stored in their stingers. Bring some to me, I'll drain the honey out of them, and give you a big batch of the sticky stuff to take back to Ronka. Nothing is ever free in World of Warcraft. Alright, I'm gonna go and uh, kill me a few waspy things. All right, well, that was a, so much excitement. We killed a bunch of different wasps, but we got the honey, so there we go. Don't fret if some sand gets mixed in. It'll taste the same either way. I mean, if you say so. All right, a deal's a deal. You got the stingers for me, so here's that big batch of honey I promised. I hope you and Ronka enjoy it. Slowly. Seriously, don't eat this all at once. Oh, and I'm always looking to trade. Swing by, you got anything to sell or you want to pick up some more honey. Okay, well, thanks. It's good to know. Also, the, the raccoons are having absolute conniption fits outside. If you hear anything coming through the microphone, it's some very cranky raccoons who all would like to eat at the same time. All right, we got to get us some skulls and kill the big boss. Well, I see one skull up there. So I guess we'll just, uh, don't mind us, we're just going to take back. There we go, we got Volney. That's always good. It's always good to get, get our friends back, even if they are just skulls that don't do a whole heck of a lot. You know, it's okay. We're just going to have to fight our way through, find all these skulls, and take out the big boss man. Alright, we took out the boss, and we only had one kidnapped mind slave to deal with, so now we just need one more skull. And I think we've got it. And it looks like that skull is right over there. So, oh, and hey, the kidnapped slaves who we freed are attacking the bandits. That's always handy. Alright, there we go. Alright, we got everybody, so let's head back to the uh, <clears throat> inn and see what's going on there. No need to come in here, Sand Fury! Oh, is that you, Gertrude? The Sand Fury didn't follow you, did they? I think he's got issues. Alright, Crushy, as always, I need you to just stay right there. Thank you. Um, Ronka, you're, you're in the cooking pot with an entire hand of bananas on your head. You made it back. I mean, you made it back. Before your footsteps scared me, I was cleaning the inn with Zulson, just like I said I would. Can't you tell? Um, if you say so, my friend. We're nothing without our gang. Well, you know, here's your friends. Let me just put that in some heavy, heavy air quotes here. And you know what? You want to give me a pretty ring? I am completely cool with that idea. Yep, and we took out... That'll teach the Sand Fury to fear our Gold Tusk gang. 
Oh, and we are level 60. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. I will deal with that in a minute. Unconventional aromatics. Thank the Loa that the Sand Fury didn't kill you and take these. The drinks are almost ready, and they really do add the perfect flavor. I'm not sure I really trust your drink. Oh, hey, he's come out. He's like, Grenja, Volney, you be back. The gang's all here. You're right. It be time we brought Gertrude into the gang, officially. Prepare the ritual. Uh, okay. But first, uh, yeah, you killed the giant snake. Congratulations. Guess I better update the brochure ex expedition list. All right. You prove your worth, Gertrude. We be willing to initiate you into the ranks of the Gold Tusk Gang, if you want to join. The ritual drink is ready. Boiled, scorpid blood, spiked with bile wing honey. Don't mind the smell. It's mostly delicious. It's not terrible. It won't kill you. Usually. When you're ready to join the Gold Tusk Gang, let me know. I will unite you with the whole gang. It's time to see what we see. I boiled the blood in the stingers you collected and I mixed them in our ceremonial gold tusk goblet. It's a pineapple. Don't eat it. We only have one. Oh, and look, he put a straw in and, and a cute little flower and it's only smoking a little bit. Okay, bottoms up. Ah, the blood tastes sweet. Drink it and see what I see. See your new... Oh, hey, look, there's there's ghosts now. Well, that's exciting. Zoldazar betrayed us, exiled us like outsiders, but we never betrayed each other. Gold tusks stay true. Heh, <laughs> first time's always tough. Yeah, I just, I just puked everywhere. Drinking the ritual scorpid blood. Let it out. It'll be easier going down next time. I, I don't think I want it next time, but, uh, hey, Renka. You're a gold tusk now, Gertrude. Welcome home. Aw, oh, that's kind of, that's kind of cool. And now everybody else has that, a couple of quests for us, too. So we're going to do those really quick because I remember the end of this now. Hey, Zulsan. Imagine for a moment, Gertrude. You wake up in the Gold Tusk Inn after a long day of drinking scorpid blood, slaughtering Sand Fury, and sharing jokes with your best friend, Zolson. You're not fully awake yet, and you're not feeling your best. What do you need most at that exact moment? An all-you-can-eat breakfast buffet, of course. I'm working on it. But I need some fruit to balance my menu. Luckily, I saw some in the oasis outside. Bring me some, and I will give you a lifetime access to the buffet. That's a pretty fair deal there, my friend. All right, and Manzel, you are definitely looking better, and you no longer have a banana in your teeth. The Gold Tusk Gang is the best gang in all of Zandalar. I know that. You know that. Everyone in the gang knows that. But we need to make sure that everyone who sees our inn knows that too. We need something big. Something like a massive gold tusk. I don't know where we would find one of those, but I got a plan. There's a huge sorolisk in the oasis. Bring me one of its giant bones and I'll take care of the rest. Okay, so you want a giant rib. Well, cool. All right, let's go get some fruit and a giant rib. Rib. I almost said rig. Come on, Crushy. We got Soralist. Oh, and another quest. Well, hey there, Volney. Are you the flight master here? I watched you kill those Sand Fury earlier, Gertrude. You have the blood instinct. I like that. I bet others have you hunting frivolous luxuries for the inn. I'll give you an assignment worth your talents. This oasis is full of dangerous beasts that'll scare away guests and harass my pterodacts that, from flying in and out. Kill them. Once the skies are clear, my pterodaxes can fly you wherever you want. Okay. Fair enough deal. 
So I'm seeing lots of fruit and more of these stupid, stupid stingy things, stingy wasp things. And uh, yeah, then we'll go kill a, we'll get blood crest giant rib and we'll have an inn up and running in no time. All right, there is the big old Soralisk blood crest. Ooh, looks like there's another one over there. I've been killing a lot of Soralisks. They're just kind of everywhere. The good thing about them is they have skins that we can take, so that's always kind of nice. The bad thing about them is they bite really, really hard. It's very rude, especially when they come in packs of twos and threes. But you know what? That's okay. I seem to be throwing bananas at them too, which is different. But you know, we'll take it. If chucking a banana at something's head is how we are gonna save the day, that works. All right, we have got his big old rib. I have a couple more predators to slay and a couple more pieces of fruit to get. And then maybe we can get this in up and running. All right, we did it. We killed all the things. We got all of the juicy fruits. We did it all. All right, Volney. There are still plenty of things for our guests to kill for recreation, but at least now they won't be hunted on their way in. Oh, well, that's good. And look at that. She's now a flight master. That's kind of awesome. It's always good to have a new flight master. All right. And... Zulson, my friend, I have fruit. This buffet is going to be a disaster if we don't get the fruit. Well, luckily, here you go. Breakfast is served. Awesome. Man, this fruit looks delicious. Let's get it on the buffet table. Look at this buffet. Very nice, Gertrude. Have some breakfast. Breakfast is served. Oh, and look at that. We have a well-fed gold tusk guest buff for an hour. That's always good. If this doesn't work, we could always be the bloody rib gang. I, I mean, if you want to say so. But oh yeah, I can work with this. All right. What is, you know what, that is our lowest thing. So we will just take those. Thank you very much. And, oh. What's up, Ronka? Hello, man. Thanks to you, the gold Tuscan has never looked better. We got food. We got beds. We got piles of dead sand fury all around. This is everything I ever dreamed it would be. Ronka looks into the oasis. You hear that? It sounds like we got our first guest of the day. Why don't you go greet this one? Show him all the great amenities that you built here. All right. Sounds good. Crushy, as always, why don't you just um, kind of chill right there? Please, I'm injured. Have mercy on a fellow Zandalari. Gertrude? Oh, dude, you fell down. All right, Blade Guard Takaji. Takaji? Tarkaj. Tarkaj. All right, well, what's up, Blade Guard? Stand still so I can talk to you. The Setharak have been chasing me for days. These dunes are death. I thought that you were killed when we crashed. Did anyone else survive? I don't know, but I need to hydrate you, bandage you, and feed you. So come on into the inn. Check this out. Look, look, look. I got drinks for you right here. Here you go. Oh, my first drink in Voldoon. I've been lost in the dunes since we were attacked. All right, well, you know what? You're looking kind of beat up. Come here, let me bandage you up. The Faithless chased me across the desert through wild beasts and monsters. I barely survived. All right, well, you know what? Why don't you have something to eat? Come here, come here, try this out. You help these exiles set up an inn way out here in the middle of nowhere? I'd say you're crazy, but you just saved my life, so thanks. All right, well, you need to go to bed. Look, I've got this nice bed right here for you. Right here. Just lay down, get some rest. I can't believe I found you again, Gertrude, but I'm exhausted. 
think I might stay here a while. Help out where I can. Thanks for saving me. All right, R Ronka, you're still wearing bananas. The gold tusk in be open to all exiles. We stick together out here. Awesome. All right. And the last thing is just your bread crumb, crumb quest to the next questing area, which we're not going to do right now. Maybe we'll do it the next time we get together and see how Penelope's going if she's not ready for her next stage of questing. So, you know what? I'm now an official member of the Gold Tusk Gang. I am so proud of you, Gertrude. Look at that. We set up an inn. How much fun is that? So, until next time, from me and Gertrude and Crushy and everybody here at the Gold Tusk Inn, have an awesome weekend. Say goodbye, Gertrude. <laughs>